Hi everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your Traction Waveform Free version 11 with your Tascam Model 12 mixer audio interface. I'm going to assume that you already have your Tascam Model 12's drivers installed on your PC. This demonstration is being done on Windows 10. It should be no different in Windows 11. If you are on a Mac platform, the procedure is very similar. I will also assume that you have your USB connected between your Model 12 and your PC, as well as possibly at least a microphone connected to any of the available channels on your mixer. Of course, to set up with Waveform Free version 11, again, I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded and running Waveform Free. The procedure for Waveform Professional is pretty much identical. I do have the version 12 Professional of Waveform, but I decided to do the free edition. That way, for people who are using the free edition of Waveform, can see how it's all set up. So let's get started, shall we? When you run Waveform for the first time, you might have your audio settings, as you can see on the screen, selected to Windows Audio. It could also be that uh, you would have selected the ASIO driver, maybe with ASIO for all. You just need to make sure that we are selecting the audio device as ASIO. And since we have already installed the drivers for the Model 12, we don't need the ASIO for all driver because Tascam provides their own dedicated driver for the Model 12, 16 and the 24. The procedure is the same. Let's click. And from the list, though it may not be looking exactly the same or as many, we're going to select Model Mixer ASIO. This is a driver provided by Tascam for all their Model 12, 16 and 24 mixer audio interfaces. Here we can actually see we can select the sample rate as well as the audio buffer. I personally prefer 48 kilohertz as my sample rate. As to the audio buffer size, 128 samples is quite sufficient, but this depends on the power of your PC. If you have more recent and up-to-date and powerful PC, you can change this sample rate to a lower value so you can actually have lower latency by using the control panel. But my laptop is quite old. It's about 10 years old now, getting close to, and 128 is quite sufficient. I get 2.7 milliseconds of latency back and forward. So just over 5 milliseconds of latency from the time the audio comes into the mixer and back out. But since we can use the headphones on the mixer and listen direct audio, latency is not really a problem. Now that we have selected our audio device, let's go to the setting and set up our inputs and outputs. To do that, we go to settings and we go to audio devices. Of course, the same option of selecting the audio device is available here as well. As we can see, I've got output 1 and 2 enabled, and the rest are disabled. We can enable them by clicking them, so Traction Projects can actually see all of those inputs and outputs. And let's enable all of our inputs as well, all the way down to input 12. And our default output for our project would be output 1 and 2, and our default input is input 1. Later on, I may decide to actually change this output to out 9 and 10, as I've done in my previous videos on other DAWs, like Studio One, etc. This allows me to listen the playback of my project on channels 9 and 10, make it easier because one slider controls both left and right. And if I am still recording, and I have microphones connected to inputs 1 and 2, this frees up those channels for recording. So I'm just going to select as my default output for 9 and 10. The next thing I want to do here 
is that because channels 7, 8, 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 are stereo returns, I'm going to select 7 and I'm going to say treat this as a stereo pair. So 7 and 8 join together. Same with 9 and 10. Same with 11 and 12, which are the main bus inputs. This way, if I've got things connected on 7 and 8 as stereo, the input for the track are automatically stereo. Of course, you can do the same thing for the other inputs. If you've got something connected to input 5 and 6, or 3 and 4 as stereo, or even 1 and 2 as stereo, you can do the same thing as well. That covers pretty much the setup of our audio device. Next, I'm going to create a blank project set my tracks and the inputs, and then save it as a template. So in the future, every time I start a new project, I can use the template and everything will be set up, ready to record. Let's start a new project. I'm going to call this Tascam M12 blank and create the project. By default, Traction adds eight tracks. I'm going to leave one to six the same. For track seven, go to actions. I'm just going to call this seven and eight. I'm just going to call this nine and ten to identify it. And I'm going to add one more track. And this one, I'm going to call it main left and right okay so now for track one i'm going to select input one input two for track three input three five and six as mono channels seven and eight i can select seven and eight nine and ten and then 11 and 12 as my main now, I have a microphone connected to channel 1. We can see how uh, the levels on track 1 is coming up, as well as left and right. Now, of course, channel 1, the way it's set up, it should record dry signal of the microphone. And let me add some effect to my left and right. So we should hear some effect coming through as well uh, to the microphone. And let's arm for recording. So the track 1 should record dry and our main left and right should record with some effect. This is a test recording using Tascam Model 12 with a microphone connected to channel 1 with some effects on main left and right in waveform free version 11. So let's rewind back and have a listen to the dry one from track 1. This is a test recording using Tascam Model 12 with a microphone connected to channel 1 with some effect on main left and right. All good. So let's um, solo now the main. This is a test recording using Tascam Model 12 with a microphone connected to channel 1 with some effect on main left and right. Okay, so looks like it's all working. Next, I'm simply going to delete those test recording, disable all arming, and I'm going to save this as a template. So next time, all of these inputs will be set up ready for recording. Go to the menu, file, save, edit as template. Let's remove that and click OK. So next time we go to Welcome in our project templates, there it is there, Tascam M12 blank. Let's double click, M12 demo, create a project, and there we go. It's all set up, ready to go for recording. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know how to set up your Tascam Model 12 with Traction's Waveform Free version 11 
or the professional version 12 or any future versions hopefully setup is the same as well as being able to save it as a template to make it really easier to start up new project if this video was helpful make sure you give me the thumbs up and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one